Hi guys, so is this the world's easiest guitar solo? Very possibly, uh, if there is an easier one, please let me know. <laughs> okay, it's by the Ramones. It's a song called I Wanna Be Sedated. Now then, there is only one note on here. We are using the fifth fret on the B string, okay, which is the E note. You could actually just use the open string, the open E string instead. I like to use a fretted note there. Now then, we don't need a whole video on how to play this really, but we do because there's a couple of things we're gonna look at here. One alternate picking, two, which I'm going to start with, is counting. Now, please go and watch my video on counting. It's really important. I have taught literally thousands of people, all right? Not one of them has failed, all right? And, and I know when these rhythms are written down, it can look really complicated, but actually, it's not that hard. And when we're doing stuff like this, it's really easy. And for learning how to read chord charts, which will save you so much time, uh, especially in rehearsals if you're in a band, okay? Trust me, it, it revolution, revolutionized my life when I learned how to do it. Okay, so please go and watch that. But what we're gonna do, we've got eight bars. For seven bars of that, we are gonna play eighth notes, which we will count like this. One and two and three and four and. So we've got seven bars of that. And the last bar just goes one, two, three, four. We just let it hang, okay? Now, a good thing to do here is to accent the first beat. So we just make that a little stronger. It helps us remember where we are. So like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so that's what I would always do on that, all right? The other thing is alternate picking. Now then, I tend to hold a finger down or put a finger down on the body of the guitar so that I can limit the movement of my picking hand, all right? And then I rest on strings that I'm not actually going to be using because I don't want to hear them, all right? So that takes quite a bit of work. There will be videos on that. So literally start with a downstroke and then strictly alternate. Now what I would do is I just angle the pick slightly. So instead of the pick being full on to the string, we're just gonna angle it a little bit towards 40, sort of 45 degrees. It helps the pick glide over a little bit. So. All right, so just like that. So have some fun with that. Please, please, please go and learn how to read um, rhythms. Okay, I promise you it's really easy and it will really help you. I guarantee you it. Okay, cheers guys. See you later. Bye.